All right, maps. So maps are key values. Maps key to a value. And there's an example of a map over there in black, the code. A map with a key of string and a value of string. And here's a map with same key of string, value of string. Huh? If they can see that. Oh, is it funky? It's wonky. Here, let me move. Let me move that over. <laughs> there you go. It's still wonky. So uh, there's the BNF. It's unordered. Um, the key uh, comparison operators must be fully defined for operators for the key. So you got to have like you know quality for op, 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 uh, comparison op, uh, for the key, and uh, the key type must not be a function map or slice. That wouldn't really make sense. But um, you have length on maps, and elements may be added during execution using assignments and retrieved with index expressions. Uh, they may be re removed with the delete function, and an, um, a new empty map value is made using the built-in function make. So here's an example of that. Make a key a string, and we're storing values of ints. The initial capacity does not bound its size. Maps grow to accommodate the number of items. So you could also optionally put in the capacity of your map. Um, and uh, uh, anyhow, but that's, that's not necessary. It's just like a suggestion for the compiler to then you know maybe try to optimize a little or something. I don't know. So basic info of maps, key value, maps, keys to values, called dictionaries in some languages, built into the languages, so they're first class citizens. It's not an additional library you must import. Uh, map keys need to be unique. The type used for a key needs to have the quality operator. We just saw this. You can't use these types, slice map or function. Maps and reference types, they behave like pointers. When you pass a map variable to a function, any changes to that map variable in the function change that original mapped variable outside the function. Maps are not thread safe because of that. Shorthand for creating a map. There you can see it. And what's happening on line 18? I'm accessing the value using the key. The key is Ginny. The value that gets accessed is bonjour. Seems a long time ago. <coughs> that code when we looked at it originally. And uh, adding an entry to a map, right? So that looks pretty similar to accessing my greeting Jenny, here my greeting Harleen, but here I'm printing, printing out the value here since there is no key Harleen, right? It's adding that key value. And if I already had a key Harleen, since I'm not printing, it would have just updated, right? You can see, wow, that's like the exact same syntax. But right there, it's accessing the value. Here, it's adding the value. Printing map length and printing the map. So here, I'm printing the length of the map. And here, I'm just printing the whole map. And you can see that come out down there. Updating an entry. So here, adding the entry Harleen and then uh, updating it. Harleen's not in here this semester, is she? Delete an entry. So just delete. And that's uh, not an index. That's why well, I just used an int for a key. So, And you can check for existence with the comma OK idiom. And uh, it's not, not necessary because if you tried to delete something that doesn't exist, it doesn't throw an error. But uh, just that's a sort of a um, construct you'll see quite a bit is this comma OK stuff. And you could also, it's kind of interesting, when I first saw that, that was kind of throwing me. You could have a little uh, initializer statement right here where you're initializing some value or values, variables, some var variable or variables. And then you could use that in the scope of whatever you initialize right here at the beginning of a conditional is just limited to that conditional. So just, you know, containing variables from being all over the place. Yeah. 
and uh, let's see, delete my greeting. Check for existence, comma, OK, idiom. I don't know what the difference is in that code. That doesn't matter. Uh, ranging over a loop. So again, just really important. At, is construct the right word for that? It's just like a way of writing code, right? That's a construct. Don't know. Design pattern. Design pattern. Is that a better way to say it? That design pattern. I like that better. You can see they're in order here too. The zero got looped again. Yeah. So order is not guaranteed. And making a map. I'm taking the length on it. Adding an item. So you got an exercise. So here's make versus new. And uh, so sometimes you'll see new something. Like here I'm doing a new slice events. And now I'm doing uh, make a slice events. What's the difference between new and make? It's a good question. You know, it's like, you know, that was uh, for sure one of my questions. And obviously, and, and I'm like, OK, well, let's, let's do a little research and read about it. So make is used for slices, maps, and channels. Maybe we should start a new video on this. Just keep chunking them up. Yeah, so you can go back if you need to look at it. Stop recording.